Hey, what is up, guys? This is Lok75 here, and welcome to a brand new series, Star Wars Rebels Recap. In this series, we're going to be looking at every episode that aired the previous day. Every Saturday, of course, a new episode airs. We're going to be analyzing the following thing, which, of course, will be Sunday today. The first episode, we're going to be looking at Season 3, Episode 3, The Antilles Extraction. Of course, this episode gave us a little bit more backstory on Sabine Wren, as I love finding out about this character. She's one of my most favorite characters in the whole crew because how mysterious she actually is and we got a canon introduction from one of the more popular characters in the original trilogy besides our main characters wedge and tilly so it's all great to look at and we also got a little bit of information about fulcrum i'm gonna be looking at in today's episode so in this episode you got an introduction to Wedge and Tilly's. We didn't have anything canon-wise about how he got his way into the Rebellion, but thanks to this episode, we finally have solidified information about how he found his way to the Rebellion. You find out that he was an Imperial cadet at this academy, Strike Force Academy, and it was kind of kind of the top gun academy for the Empire in terms of piloting, so you know that he has a very well traversed background in piloting now, which explains why he was able to survive so many key battles during the Galactic Civil War. We also found out that he was a cargo freighter pilot before he actually became with the Empire. And you see that he's very sympathetic to a cause. You see that he's very caring about people. He doesn't want to go straight to killing. He wants to be able to follow protocol and treat people the way they need to be treated. But of course, the Empire didn't see this way. And you kind of see it was kind of a transitional period for the Empire. Instead of going from the peace-carrying people that everybody thought they were going to be, you see they're more totalitarian, more vicious now. And it's kind of going through that transitional period. And I think that has something to do with the introduction of Grand Admiral Thrawn. I feel like he's bringing in that transitional period for the Empire of no mercy now. So I can't wait to see how that plays out as we move forward into the season. Also, we got a little bit more backstory on Sabine Wren. You know, she's an every mysterious character, I like to think. As this series plays out, you learn more and more about her. Because slowly and steadily, you find out she was a bounty hunter in her past. You find out that she's actually in the Vizsla house on Mandalore. So as time progresses, you find out a little bit more. Now in this episode, you find out that she was an Imperial cadet at one point. So that's why she's very versed in Imperial Protocol. So just it's very interesting learning about Sabine Wren. I'm very curious to find out more. You know, there's an episode where they actually encounter Mandalorians who work for the Empire. So I really cannot wait to see where that goes. Now, also, this is one of these smaller bits of information in this episode that may prove to be something bigger down the line. We find out that there are actually multiple fulcrums working for the Rebel Alliance. Now, it was believed at first by everybody, including myself, that the only fulcrum was Ahsoka Tano. Ezra believed this as well as when a fulcrum made contact, he believed it was Ahsoka, but Hera would inform him that no, there are multiple fulcrums throughout the galaxy. There are secret agents that work for the Rebellion. Ahsoka actually started that trend. So, I believe this is kind of a setup to bring in more surprise characters, maybe. Now, one surprise character, I think we can expect to maybe be a fulcrum could be bo katan and she is rumored to be well actually not rumored she's been confirmed to return in star wars rebels season three so i think we can expect her to maybe be a fulcrum coming forward in star wars rebels well that's gonna that it for this breakdown right now i'm gonna show you guys a preview of the next episode as it looks like we're gonna be headed back to ryloth one of the more major sites of the battles for the clone wars and we're getting again a look at Sabine's family, well, Hera's family, rather, Hera's father, Captain Sindula. So check it out, this episode preview for Hera's Heroes. Father, don't worry, we're closing in on your position. Hera, is that you? Good timing. We are running out of room. We're coming in from the north. There's no time for you to land. We're not landing. Head south. Hera, there is no time. Just turn around. We'll take care of the Empire. Is she serious? My daughter is always serious. Well, that's going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below. What did you guys think of Season 3, Episode 3? of Star Wars Rebels the Antilles Extraction. What are you looking forward to as we move forward on with Season 3? And also, leave a like and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest Star Wars content on YouTube. Until next time, it's been Lokes in the 5. I'll definitely see you guys in a later video.